Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, your Death01 here, back with another video. This time, I'm bringing you guys my guide to getting all of the black boxes and skulls in the game Halo Wars. Um, the only thing to really note is that you need to do the first mission on Heroic or Legendary to get the skull. Otherwise, everything else can be done on easy difficulty, which is what I will be doing. So, timestamps will be in the description. Make sure you follow along. Let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see, we are on mission one, Alpha Base. You can see that I am on heroic difficulty for this. You could do legendary. I just decided to do heroic to make it a little bit faster. I am right about to go back into Alpha Base. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because you can see for the optional thing there, the kill 100 grunts, I have 46 of 100. That is important because you need to have at least 46 grunts killed before you reach the base on heroic or legendary otherwise you cannot get the skull so now basically all you're going to do is once you've gotten the 46 out of 100 to this point you're just going to send in all your guys into this base here and you're just going to clear out the entire base except you want to make sure that you stop once you reach 100 grunts now if you're playing on heroic like me you'll come to a point where there is only one grunt elite squad left and you have to make sure that you kill the grunts first and leave the elite alive so as you can see what I'm doing here I just send my guys back and forth one or two guys just to make sure that I only kill the grunts and I leave the elite alive now once you've done that part as you can see the skull will spawn so you can send your warthog or whatever you have it's just outside where you guys rallied up beforehand so you can send your Warthog there, whoever you want to, go ahead and pick up that skull. That is going to be the Look Daddy skull. <laughs> and now for the black box, it is just south of where the skull is. The bridge you took to get to that big open area where you rallied up before the base. You'll see that little uh, pelican wing or whatever aiming down towards where the black box is. So just take your Warthog or your troops, run down that ramp, drive down that ramp and go ahead and pick up that black box right by that crashed mongoose i believe that is now moving on to mission two all right so as you can see we are on mission two relic approach um the objective is to kill 20 jackal snipers now you will find these jackal snipers uh located around the map in sections like on the screen as you can see right there that little platform that's where the jackals will normally sit so as you can see, the skull will spawn right where your base is here. So just make a unit from your base or bring a unit back, whatever you want to do, to come over and grab the skull that is sitting there. That's going to be the Grunt Birthday Party skull. And now the black box is going to be in the northwest corner of the map. In the very top here, you have to destroy a shield generator to get back here. And you can see the black box is just sitting there on the ground. So just bring a unit over here and collect that black box. Now, moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 3, the Relic Interior. Now, right from the very beginning of the mission, instead of going into the interior, you want to grab your Grizzlies, go down, turn around, drive down this ramp, and follow all the way along the left side of the map until you drive and reach this downed pelican that's on fire. You will see the black box sitting right beside it, so go ahead and pick that up with the Grizzly. Okay, so now for the second part of this mission to get the skull and the relic interior now You're gonna have to farm hunters for this you need to kill a total of 45 and you can kill say 20 ish Throughout the mission, but you can really farm it right here um, Right at the end of the mission the hunters will infinitely spawn through those doorways So just leave your grizzlies there now the skull will spawn right where you go to meet Anders and Forge right where you're saving them from that center uh, spire in the middle so just keep a unit back there or drive all the way back across the bridge to go and pick up that skull. And that is going to be the cowbell skull. Now moving on to mission four. Okay, so now we are on Arcadia City mission four. Now the optional objective that you need to do to get the skull is to kill 50 elites and they can be farmed fairly easily. They keep spawning from the subways. So now you can see it's already flashing on the screen there where the skull is. So you're going to have to go to the very east corner of the map near the Covenant base. And you're going to have to take a unit up there, probably Forge or a uh, Hornet or whatever you want to do. So just take your unit over there and go ahead and pick up Wav Wu Skull. Now the black box is actually just beside the base you initially make. 
So just send a unit over there or make a unit from your base and you can pick up that black box. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 5, Arcadia Outskirts. And the optional objective that you need to complete to get the skull is to kill 5 wraiths. Now the, there will be periodic wraiths that come into the map um, on the dropships. So you'll want to kill all the wraiths that are around the map and even ones that might spawn from the base. So once you've killed 5, the skull will spawn in the northwesternmost part of the map on that big uh, freeway. So you can take a unit over there, you can take a forge, a vehicle, a troop, whatever unit you have. And you can see, once I get that skull, that is going to be the fog skull. Now for the black box. The black box is actually just right beside the tech reactor when you were first coming into the map. I hope that you would have put a unit in there at the start of the mission. But you can see the black box just to the left of the statue, just to the left of the tech reactor on the grass there, right there. So I'll just send my unit over there and pick up that black box. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 6, Dome of Light. Now the requirement to get the skull to unlock is to kill 50 banshees. And you want to make sure that you do not plant all of the rhinos before you kill the 50 banshees and collect the skull. Otherwise you will not be able to get it because the mission will end. So, once you've killed the, the banshees, which will intermittently spawn, just keep some wolverines near your rhinos. It will spawn just behind your base here in this open hangar. So send your unit over there to pick up that skull. And that is going to be the sickness skull. Now for the black box, it is actually in, uh, it's located where the farthest rhino is, the one you need to airdrop over. So make sure when you airdrop over the rhino that you also give yourself a unit or two, first to defend the, the rhino, but second to collect the black box because it is just around the corner where the uh, sealed off tunnel is. So go ahead and pick up that black box. Moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 7, Scarab, and the optional objective you need to complete is killing 10 locusts. Now they are found around the map, but they do also intermittently spawn, so don't end the mission until you've killed all 10, of course. Now, once you've killed the 10th and final one, as you can see on the screen, the skull will spawn in the northwesternmost corner of the map. So go ahead and drive over there, send a unit over there, and you can go ahead and pick up the Rebel Sympathizer Skull. Now for the black box, it is actually just in the opposite corner of the map, on the top, the northeastern corner of the map. So just send your units over there, and you can go ahead and pick up that black box. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 8, Anders' signal. Now the optional objective that you need to complete is to kill 750 infection forms. This does take a while, but luckily there are a few flood bases around this map that will respawn enemies. So just leave your troops by them. Don't kill the base itself, but just keep your, uh, keep your units near it so it can kill the enemies that spawn from it. Now the skull will spawn in uh, the northwesternmost part of the map, and it is actually just around a ledge, so you have to go through the center of the map and then come back around towards the top. And you will see the skull just floating there, and that is going to be the Rebel Supporter Skull. Now for the black box, it is actually just west of your base, and it is near one of the flood um, bases that respawn enemies. It is actually just a little bit on the ledge towards where you were first starting in the mission. So just bring a unit over there to that area and go ahead and pick up that black box. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 9, the flood. And the optional objective you need to complete is to kill 20 flood stalks. Now the flood stalks are those sort of tree branch looking things. Um, you'll find them dispersed around the map. Just go ahead and kill 20 of them. They're not that hard to kill, and they usually uh, spawn that poisonous gas and sometimes the uh, the parasites. But now the skull. Once you've killed all 20, the skull will actually spawn just beside your base, just to the east of your base. But in order to get it, you need an air unit. Make yourself a, a hornet, and then you can go ahead and collect the skull. And that is going to be the rebel leader skull. Now for the black box. The black box is just in the, in the mo westernmost part of the map. The top left corner, depending on how you're looking at the map, but the westernmost part of the map. So just go ahead, send your units over there, and you can pick up that black box. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 10, Shield World. And for this one, you have to kill 350 swarms. Now the swarms is the group of, like, those 
infected birds that uh, spawn there, like I just cryo-freeze there. Those are the swarms, and you have to kill 350 of them. It takes a really long time, so make sure you build the gremlins to EMP all of the uh, all of those shield pieces. Now, um, the skull is going to spawn on this little um, island over here, so you need to build an air unit again. So build yourself a hornet, fly over to this island in the easternmost part of the map, and you can pick up the catch skull. Now for the black box, it is going to be in the northwesternmost part of the map, where you help rescue one of the teams that is stranded. So just keep a unit over there or send a unit over there and you can pick up that black box. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 11, cleansing. Now for this one, you need to destroy 100 sentinels, which isn't hard, it just takes some time. Uh, just make sure you don't uh, destroy all of the flood spawns before the ring passes and you, you know kill all 100. So the skull is going to spawn in the northeasternmost part of the map and you are going to need a hornet again for the next two. So make sure you build a hornet. And you can see it's floating just uh, in the mid-air at the end of the ship there. So go ahead and pick that skull up. That is going to be the sugar cookie skull. Now for the black box, that is going to be located on the westernmost part of the map on the side of the ship. So again, you need the hornet. So make sure you either bring your hornet over there or just have another hornet on hand. And you can see it's just sitting on the side of the ship there, so go ahead and pick that up. Now moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 12, Repairs. And now for this one, you need to kill 12 Spirit Transports. That's the drop ships. so just build some Hawks, build some Wolverines, and you'll kill 12. Um, so once you've killed all 12, as you can see here, the Skull is going to spawn in the northeastern uh, part of the map. Uh, basically, almost the same location as before, but this time the skull is on top of the control center, I guess, on the ship. And that is the boomstick skull. The black box, though, is going to be in basically the same location as the other one was. It is going to be in the westernmost part of the map on the side of the ship. And again, you need, you need an air unit take for that, that so just take your air unit, your hawk, or whatever you have, and go ahead and pick up that black box. Now, moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we are on mission 13, Beachhead. For this one, you need to kill 10 bomber forms, and that's basically just the floating um, suicide guys that drop the uh, parasites and everything. So you'll find a majority of them in the nor uh, westmost corner of the map, which is actually where you first start out the game. And this is also where you will find the skull. So once you've killed all 10 of the bomber forms, you will see the skull spawn and you can pick up that skull to get the pain train skull. Now for the black box, that is going to spawn in the northeasternmost part of the map and for this one you do need a flying unit so either a, a hornet or a vulture or whatever you want to build. So just go ahead and go to the northeasternmost corner of the map near one of your bases and you will find it on the mountainside so go ahead and pick that up. Now moving on to the next mission Okay, so now we are on mission 14 reactor, and I hope you brought your stakes because we need to kill 20 vampires in order to get the skull to spawn. <laughs> now, once you've killed 20 vampires, the skull will spawn in the northmost corner of the map on the mid-level where the second last base is that you could build, and you'll see it there. So you can go ahead and pick that up, and that is going to be the Bountiful Harvest Skull. Now for the black box, that is going to spawn in the southwestern most part of the map and you were going to need a flying unit to reach this one as well as it is up on a little bit of a ledge so make yourself a hornet or a flying unit whatever you want to build and go ahead and pick up that black box now moving on to the last mission okay so now we are on the 15th and final mission escape now in order to get the skull to spawn you need to kill the three scarabs which could be very difficult if you're on a harder difficulty but on easy it's not that hard as you can see here just a canister shell a couple abilities boom scarab dead and as you can see the skull spawns in the northeasternmost corner of the map so go ahead and head over to that area clear out a couple of the flood nearby and you can go ahead and pick up the emperor skull the 15th and final one now for the black box, that actually spawns in the north end of the map, right next to one of the bases that you can build, which is very convenient, they're both right in the same area. So just go ahead right in front of that base there, and you can pick up the 15th and final black box.
So thanks for watching guys, make sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Please check out my friends channels, the links will always be in the description below. Keep it real guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.